Welcome to downtown Los Angeles. Uh, today I'm going to tell you a story about how I rented a house and got paid for it. $600. So, how did I do it? Back in the day when I was attending university, I had to commute from my house to the university for 40 minutes. 40 minutes there, 40 minutes back. So, instead of renting the dorms for it it was at that time was eight hundred dollars i decided to just look for the houses nearby that i could rent and that i could have all for myself so i have searched i looked and the cheapest house that i found in that area luckily for sixteen hundred dollars now let me let me stress this for you it's cheap because the houses in that area ranged anywhere from 2200 to 2800 and that houses that were not new they were like 30 years old houses and they're like basically small houses and they were falling apart. Now that house that I, I found for 1600 it was cheap and it was a new build. I think it was like a um, 15 years old house. So um, when I found that guy, he was uh, cleaning his house and basically throwing a bunch of garbage away. And I was on, in the neighboring house looking at the house that I was planning to rent. And then I just ended up talking to that guy who was next door. And he was like, oh, I'm, I'm just looking to rent the house out because I'm out of state. And basically my uh, family member passed and I end up with this house. And I just want to clean it, rent it out and go back to my state. And I was like, hey, you know what? What if I rent it out for you? I gave him a specific price. He, of course, was like, oh, it's too low. So we end up renting it for $1,600. Um, so I rented it for $1,600. It was a four bedroom house three bathrooms so two uh, basically three bedrooms I rented out for $500 and uh, master bedroom I rented out for $800 so the couple rented a uh, master bedroom for $800 they had their own huge closet bathroom with jacuzzi in it uh, shower everything you can imagine now I also had two car garage the two car garage I rented each spot for $50 so that another brought me $100 per month. Okay, adding it all up, subtracting the bills and uh, utilities and everything you can think of, I end up at the end of the day $600. $600 a month I was pocketing. So yes, that might look good like, oh, I'm renting the whole house. I'm basically living it. I'm living in it. I don't have to abide by a bunch of rules. If I did live in the dorms, I do whatever I want to. And uh, I end up, and at the end of the day, I was getting $600. So that's good, right? Again, when I was doing this deal, when I was looking for the houses and I was exploring my options, commuting versus uh, dorms versus actually renting a house, it was kind of scary for me because at that time I was kind of like a newbie. I didn't know what I was doing. And um, I was afraid I'm gonna screw this up. I'm gonna rent the house because the owner, he wanted to lease the house for at least a year. So I'm like, okay, I leased. I'm gonna lease a house for a year and then I basically have to pay $600 out of my pocket every month and if I don't have other you know people that I can rent to other students then basically I have to pay this myself so luckily for me everything worked out I found great uh, roommates really great roommates because I, I made sure they hard workers they have a jobs and if they have a low-paying jobs I made sure their parents co-signed so they would pay if they other uh, um, if they wouldn't be able to afford I made sure that you have the Instagram Facebook basically all their social medias so they were decent people like in person and decent people on social media and uh, if they had credit cards I checked the credit cards as well so I did that uh, within a month I basically I got all the basically roommates in in other words uh, that worked out for me <laughs> Obviously, there are risks. So when I started out uh, renting out the house for sixteen hundred dollars, I told my uh, one of my classmates, one of my friends, I'm like, hey, since we're like in the business area, I'm like, would you like to rent a house and then try to renting it the rooms individually and probably basically cutting our costs to zero? And of course, I'm gonna end up making six hundred dollars per month, but at that time, I didn't know I'm gonna make that much because I didn't know what, was, how, and what is gonna happen. So end up he basically didn't uh, do uh, the deal with me and so he's like oh, I don't know I just rather you know pay the dorms and all that kind of stuff so I end up doing everything myself and basically pocketing everything myself what I have learned what I have learned from this first 
Yes, I could have just went and rented the dorms for $800 and have no headache. But this process, just by looking for a part, um, looking for the house, looking for um, roommates, uh, develop my social skills because I was like uh, antisocial at that time. So I had to develop my social skills with other people, interviewing people. What do I need to ask? So that was a huge learning curve for me. Uh, negotiating the deals uh, that was also a, like a um, um, learning curve for me for instance what I mean by deal was this um, uh, when I rented out the house first time it was 1700 but you know um, that same day I told him like hey what if I clean uh, cut your grass clean the house whatever outside the dirt basically keep it clean water your plants and you would discount me for one another $100 of course he said no but then afterwards, um, uh, he called me like two hours later on the road while he was driving to his state and he's like, you know what, yeah, you know, subtract $100 and do everything else around the house. So just simply asking a question, something that basically paid off for me. So do ask questions. All right. Thank you so much for taking your time out of your busy schedule to watch my videos. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. If you haven't yet, hit it. If you like my videos, like that like button. And uh, of course, uh, if you can share this video with your friends and other people who would be interested in the same content as you watch, please do so. Again, I promise you I will improve on my quality of my videos and the content over time. So I guess we all have to start somewhere. Alrighty, thank you very much and peace out. I won't let go until the sunrise. These open highways are calling our name, and now it's time for us to escape.